you already know what it is, man. We bite with another one, man. You already know what it is. Who am I with T. Murray, man? And, and like we do on the platform, you know, we always let the guests, let the folks know who they are, man. So go ahead and let these folks know who we rocking with tonight. It's your girl, K. Roo, outside, working, per usual. You know what I'm saying? My boy done caught me in action. You know Already. What I'm From Temple, y'all know the vibes, man. Queen of the city. For sure, man. You know, I definitely had to get this one, man, because we've been rocking with each other, chopping it up for a minute, and I definitely yeah, yeah. been seeing you working. Yeah, so go ahead and let the folks know, like, let's take them back from the beginning, you feel me? Before K. Root, the artist, you feel, let's take them all the way back to the beginning, you feel me? First of all, where you from? From Temple, Florida, you know what I'm saying? And I started the whole music thing, you know, in the church. You know, that's why my music, you know, always got a message in it, you know, because I'm a spiritual artist, you know, but I'm a reality rapper. You know what I'm saying? I speak from all sides so people can relate. And I've been doing it since I was a child, speaking and, you know, but really taking it serious and being able to put that music out there professionally the last, like, seven years. I've been dropping since 2016. You know what I'm saying? I done sold over 15,000, 20,000 CDs in the city. Say that. The city will tell you, like, that's how I was feeding myself. Different establishments and stuff. So um, we done came a long way, man. You know, now I got I do a lot to... Lyrical Cafe and the K. Roo Daily Bread. You know, I get to do motivation and speak to people with or without a beat. Cause you know that's my whole mission. That's what I'm out here doing. But um, yeah, man, it's been a long time coming. You know, I'm really the underdog turned queen. You know, and that's how you want to look at it. Tell us about that walk. You feel me? Just coming from the humble beginnings, really yeah. in that mud for real, like. Uh, it's How been did a you journey. just dig out that mud and just get to get it to where it's at right now? It's you been feel a journey, me? long days, long nights, man. I done beat the block down, done, done cried out there on the block, done prayed for moments, you know, for it to come together and just different things like that. So, you know, it's really been a blessing. It's been a journey, you know. Um, a lot of people look now and they be like, oh, man, they just see what's going on. But I don't know. It took seven years to get here. I used to walk in and be overlooked people didn't know my name you know i worked and earned the spot so it's a blessing you know i just want to open the door so i can do a lot more become a mega superstar so i can break the curse of my family and cause generational wealth it's just a lot of different things this shit deeper than the route but i'm gonna use the music to open up the door you know what i'm saying that's real and just yeah. tell us about that struggle of them of them seven years, like the things you had to go through, you feel me? If you want to express uh, that. Yeah, man, it's been up and downs because that's what make and break artists, you know. I don't deal with the rejection. I didn't deal with people telling me I didn't have a signature look. I didn't deal with people telling me I'm too godly. I've heard it all, you know, but I've also gotten love over the years. I've gotten support. You know what I'm saying? Donations from a dollar to two dollars. And I added up, you know, so I feel like you just got to trust the process. Um, I used to rush it. I used to want it so bad. I wanted to blow five, six years ago, but when I look back now, I wasn't ready. You know, the industry was going to chew me up and spit me out, but I'm ready now, you know, because I went and learned the business. You know, got LLC, Merchants Account, you know, just a lot of different things that I didn't know, you know. So um, I don't fault nobody in my team that they didn't know anything to get us to where we at because we taking the long route, but sometimes that's what it takes to build a legacy. Real, you know what man. I'm saying? So, um, yeah, man, I'm just thankful that I haven't lost myself along the way because it's been hard. Um, I've dealt with a lot of opinions. You know, some people have good intentions with their criticism and some people don't, but it's a lot that you take in on this journey. It can make or break you, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just glad I haven't lost sight. I've adjusted. Um, I know a lot of people know that I've switched my image up over the years. I, I've grown as a woman in this rap game. You know, I've switched my music, but I always keep a positive element. So the moral of the story is I'm just, it's growing pains, but I'm trusting the process now. And I'm having fun with it. And I think that's why um it's working out. That's real. And just tell me about that, just being a female in the rock game, you feel oh, me? Oh, man. And just that struggle. It's not easy, you know. I deal with it. As females, it's hard, you know what I'm saying? But you have to be even stronger. You know what I'm saying? As a female, it's a lot of more temptation, but... You got to know yourself, know your worth. Um, you got to be more coming together. And even with me as a female, I'm an artist. Now, you know, promoter, you know, motivational speaker. It's a lot of titles and hats, you know. It's just, it's been a lot of 
jealousy and envy is just different things, you know, but we just gotta learn how to stick together as females. That's real. And yeah. tell me about your platform, you feel me, that you got going on too, because that, that shit really been bubbling, you know what I'm saying? It's a blessing. First thing first, you know, shout out to Young Dread. You know, um, he a big artist in the city, YTC. Yeah, you know, that's his label. Dread. Um, and back in like February, I was homeless. You know what I'm saying? I was sleeping in my car, you know, shit had got kind of tight. And, um, you know, I was selling CDs every day still. And Young Dre had hit me up, him and his team, you know. Um, and they was like, you know, we know what you're capable of. We see that you're able to sell yourself. Come sell a brand, you know what I'm saying? So they asked me to come up with something. And um, back in March, you know, we sat down with your money and we came up with the Lyrical Cafe. You know what I'm saying? So it's just been a blessing, you know. Um, you know, the show kind of like it's changed my life because, like I said, shit got so tight with the music. I was giving it everything I got, sleeping in my car. I didn't want to work. I was just so invested. But, you know, that's another thing as an artist, don't feel ashamed to work. You know what I'm saying? I've worked at the nursing home. I've done wiped ass. I done babies grown men. I done did fast food. I done did retail. I done did customer service. Everything. Real, you know, um, yeah, man, you got to just. Get it out the muscle, but um, yeah, man, it's just been a long, long journey, definitely. And we definitely been seeing the grind. Yeah, so yeah. what? What's the? Tell them the. What's the song that kind of got the ball rolling for the K. Rule campaign that really like um, made you all the way lock in? Like, all right, these folks really rocking with me. Let me go ahead and. Um. Well, you know, like I said, I've been dropping since 2016. So back when my first team, Odell Promotions and things like that, I had two underground mixtapes. Um, I think my first single that really made the city and E-Lights and, you know, the gatekeepers, certain DJs look at me different was Self Love. You know, um, Self Love really did a bit, you know, a breakthrough in the city for me. It let people know, like, hey, man, I'm here to stay. Yes, I'm a conscious artist, but I'm street savvy, too. You know what I'm saying? And, I think it helped them understand my mission a little bit. Kept going, rolling the ball, dropped a few projects. Then I came back with Shake It Off. You know what I'm saying? Tell so them I about, think. Tell them about Shake It Off, because that, <laughs> yeah, that's man. definitely that one, you feel oh me? Oh my God. That's you know, definitely that one. It's crazy, because I was in such a dark place when I wrote the song. Like, I was really going through some shit. And I was just like, oh my God. So, you know, end up coming up with Shake It Off. And, it's just been a blessing seeing how people have responded and reacted to it. You know, it could be a dance song to some, a motivational song to some. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I was in the dark place, so it's really my. When I listen to it, it be like my own little testimony, my own little ministry song. Like sure. I vibe to it as a fan, honestly. You know? That's definitely. real. So we definitely, when you listen to the song, you feel me? That's what I got from like. Yeah. You you hear it in there. You hear it. You hear it. curses through that verse. You know what I'm saying? But definitely, it's been a blessing. And that's what I want to keep doing. Just using the music, the open doors, let people understand my message. Um, you know, break the generational curve. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, bring light to the city. You know what I'm saying? Give back to my community. You know, I've been making it happen with scraps. So if they just give me a little cushion. And allow me in the industry, you know what I'm saying? It's just a lot of things that we're gonna do and we're gonna make it happen. That's real, that's real. Yeah, that's Now I definitely know you got a you got a team with you, you feel me? So kinda of tell them about, about Shout your team, out to you feel team, me? Man, first and foremost, you know, DJ Shimani been rocking with me for three years now. You know what I'm saying? Rocking with Rocco Slater, MV promotions. You know, my producers, Tropical, Schedule One, Young Wireless, you know what I'm saying, dudes. Um, it's just been a lot of people involved in my career. Um, AZ Promotions out of Miami, um, AZ Dot, um, you know what I'm saying, Corey, Matt Sign, Glasshouse Studio been sponsoring me. Like, it's just been crazy. And the whole city of Temple and every corner store and gas station that got them, it done let me stand out there and didn't run me off. Yeah. Definitely Civil Dollar. You know, they let me set up from the sun up to sundown. So it's For like, sure. definitely, man, I appreciate the whole city. You know, whatever y'all was able to give out y'all pocket, whatever seeds y'all was able to plant, just know, you know, I'm going to turn it in full, full. That's real, Definitely. man. That's real. That's real. Yeah. So we just kicking shit. We ain't going to hold you too long because, yes, you know, you're busy. Long we day, appreciate for sure, for sure. But you can't cross the road for me, and I appreciate you, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you for coming to the platform and 
just fucking with me, dog. Yeah, you shit, already support. know that shit will love you, dude. Hell yeah, yes, but sir. But before we get out of here, you know what I'm saying? And shout out to my dog, Twisty. I see you got my dog. Already, man. first episode. We actually got a session coming up. I'm flying to Orlando so we could do a feature and shoot a video that's coming up. So I'm going to give you insight so you can pull up on this. Straight up. I ain't gonna lie, man. We in this season two right now on this K. Rue interview, man. I ain't gonna lie. Season two, got we got a lot of females applying pressure on this season two. I don't know. These fellas might need to tighten up, they K. They better. They better. You know I'm what talking I'm about we got twist. We done had twisting on here. Yeah. Pair the Gemini. Okay. You done came through. Okay. We got a couple more lining up. You feel me? These females okay. really. Tighten up, man. They, they opening the door for us. Let's kick it down. That's real. You know what I'm saying I'm, I'm, I used to be a one woman army. Now I'm just about unity. You know, I'm. I God I said God use me. So it ain't gotta be me. It could be the person next to me. It could be at this point we just gonna. You know what I'm saying? Lift each other up. So let's make it happen. That's real, man. Before we get out of here, let them let them folks know where to find you at. What you got going on? Y'all know the vibes, man. K Ruth official on Instagram. If you need some motivation. K Ruth daily bread. If you get into a car accident, call me, man. 813-445-2131. You know what I'm saying? Artists looking for exposure and coming to network, man. Hit us up with the Lyrical Cafe and so much and so more, man. If you need some promotions, business, banners, flyers, posters, hit me up. I'm at the print shop. Really, whatever you need, man, just hit me up. We can make it happen, man. Shout out to the temple, man. I know the vibes. That's real, man. I appreciate you. You already know what it is. Yes, K sir. Big K Roo okay. shit, man. <laughs> we Who am I with T Murray? You already know what it is. Yeah. Let's rock.